hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to talk about one of the power automate dataverse action that allow us to create multiple create update and delete operation within a single transaction so yes we are talking about power automate perform a change set operation for dataverse so this action actually ensures that all the changes in the request are committed successfully in one shot and if any of the transaction or action fails, then it should roll back to the previous state. And what are the benefits we are going to get out of it? That we have to, we can manage the integrity of our data. So for example, if we are creating a request, which has, which has to update multiple items or records into different, different data was table. Otherwise, if any one of the update or create operation fails, then it should roll back to the original state so that none of the item or record gets created in any of the table. So that's what we are going to talk about today. So I am going to create one Power Automate and I'll say that instant cloud flow. I'll choose that as a manual trigger and in new step, I'll try to search for perform a change set. So this comes under Microsoft Dataverse Actions and I can find that by scrolling a bit down over here, perform a change set request. So as soon as I add this, it gives me an option of adding multiple actions within this one scope. So when I say add an action, I can perform these three actions, add a new row, delete a row or update a row in one shot. So we can perform these operations. For example, you are creating one account and that account has multiple contacts. Then if any of the operation of adding contacts fails, then it should even not create account in first place. So you can club your business logic operation performing multiple transactions within this chain set. So for example, I am just creating one record into my account table. So I'll just say accounts. And I'll just add one test account, let's say XYZ company. And I'll put the address as my current address. And just like that. And in the next section, I wish to create one contact for this account. So I'll add one more row. And this row, I would just simply choose my contact table. And under this, I'll just create one account, let's say for my name. And I'll just put the other contact details just like that for test purpose. And in the first name, I'll just put mine. And as an So once this contact is created, I wish to create one secondary contact as well. And in this secondary contact, let's say, let me try to update one row and I'll just put up any arbitrary row ID for it so that I know that this transition gets failed. So I'll just choose my table as contact table itself. And in this row ID, I'll just find out something, some row. We'll try to update that with the first name and I am expecting that this ID because it will not able to look up the row for this row ID number so it will fail so I am just saving it and do a test operation and parallelly I will open the data set uh, this accounts table so that I can actually verify whether my accounts table is created the item record gets created or not so I am doing a test flow of my this chain set and just performing this manually our flow ran and what we are expecting is we are expecting an error over here in the third action so right now you can see this chain set scope failed at the last row and it did not perform any action on these two so that's how it's maintaining the integrity and if i just search 
my this table I'll just do a filter just to check on my newly created item so it doesn't create it it doesn't create in my account in first place so the next two operations did not even occur so that's how you can perform you can use this change set request to do your data integrity operations and benefit of using it of course like you can get the data integrity atomicity and performance because you can actually bundle up all the batches all the operation into one single batch so that's how i find it useful so probably it could be beneficial for you as well so that's it for today's video thank you